In this example, we're going to find the measure between two diagonals of Q. Well, picturing this is going to be a little bit tricky. Here is the front face, and here we have our cube. And I'm looking to find the diagonal here, and then the green diagonal, I'll keep it red, This, the angle that goes between them. And what I really need to do is find the length of one of these lines. And if I can find the length of one of these lines, then I know that if the midpoint these will be equal, all four of those parts of the segment will be equal. Then if I know this is, will have a length of one, I'll say it, and I can use uh, cosine rule or sine rule, no, the cosine rule to find uh, the angle there. So in order to find that angle though, I'm going to, or that length, I'm going to first look at the very bottom of the cube and look at that length there. Look at this here, this green triangle. And I know this is one and this is one. It's a right triangle. And so the length there by my, this is 45 degrees, is root 2. Now, if I look at this triangle here, this here is also a right triangle going along the back. This is root 2. This is 1, so Pythagorean theorem we find me in this value. So if I want to find the length of that diagonal, we'll call it d. d squared is equal to 1 squared plus root 2 squared, which is 1 plus 2, which is 3. And so d then is going to be the square root of 3. So half of it then, half of it, half diagonal, is equal to root 3 over 2. And so my inside triangle there, I have a triangle, which will go back to blue. I have a triangle. Here's part of the diagonal, part of the diagonal, and 1. This is 1. This is root 3 over 2. And this is root 3 over 2. I want to find this angle theta here, let's say. Well, using my cosine rule, I can say a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine a. Well, this is 1 is equal to root 3 over 2 squared plus root 3 over 2 squared minus 2 times root 3 over 2 times root 3 over 2 cosine of theta. And working through this, I get 1 is equal to 1 is equal to 3 over 4 plus 3 over 4 minus, well, those cancel, and I get 3 over 2 cosine theta. Work with all my fractions here. Um, if I multiply everything here by 4, I can get rid of my fractions, and I know 4 is equal to 3 plus 3 minus 6 cos theta. Uh, this is 6 subtracted over, I get negative 2 is equal to negative 6 cos theta. Cos theta is equal to 1 third. And so theta, if I'm in, uh, theta will be 70.5 degrees. Now that's one way of doing it. If you were doing, if you were further on in the course and you were doing vectors, another way you could do this problem, uh, I won't get into that now. That'll be good for now.